Hello everyone and welcome to the episode 14 of my mobile networks overview course. I'm really happy that thankfully we are uh, finalizing the CS part and hopefully we can go through PS and EPC in the next couple of episodes. Okay, uh, the last scenario in the CS that we are going to talk is about SMS or short message services. Okay. Here is a very simple scenario. Mobile subscriber here want to send a, a short message service uh, from A party to a B party. So a CM service request with, uh, request with short message type will send to serving MSC or uh, uh, this is, it, it can also be the VMSC, okay? Then an internal, uh, internal message from VMSC to the VLR will send to check the send uh, send info for the MOSMS because it should check the service of the subscriber here in BL or maybe whether he can send SMS or not and some other information VLR respectively will send back some information to the serving MSC and this MSC will, found that, will find that it, this subscriber has uh, uh, this service is prov uh, has provisioned for this subscriber or not then uh, through the map uh, protocol uh, as you know we are talking here in this episode in the CS part but right now in IMS it can also send through some other parameters that we can that uh, is uh, handled on um, I, on IMS network uh, okay I will talk uh, about them later uh, but map you know is, a, is a, something like old protocol it sends map MO forward short message to the interworking MSC or it can be gateway or transit MSC or in some configuration or some topologies uh, this cannot be done and uh, serving MSC can directly send this message to the SMS center so it's depend it depends on the network uh, topology then short uh, then interworking MSC send short message uh, uh, signaling to the SMS center and SMS center will send uh, an HLR inquiry let me let me clear this for you and see that we can have a HLR HSS here then in this in this part sms will query the smsc will query the uh, wanna query the b party okay then he will send a send routing information request to the hlr and hlr or hss send back sri ac with the information of the uh, serving msc msc of the b party okay then SMS center will forward this message through the serving or G, uh, G or T MSC of the B party MSC B. Okay, I, it depends on the network. So here, uh, then it will send an acknowledgement, and we can see short message acknowledgement will receive here and also MO map forward short message acknowledgement will send to the serving MSC and the subscriber B uh, the subscriber uh, A uh, will receive a short message acknowledgement okay and you can see here the uh, this trace is uh, got from a, from a VMSC the blue message are uh, are outgoing messages and uh, black messages are incoming so you can see it's like this uh, at first mo forward message short message is going out from the msc and uh, when this procedure happened uh, forward short message confirm is uh, sent back and comes to this msc from the uh, terminating party and the subscriber will receive the message okay uh, I think uh, for CS part this is enough and we have introduced uh, uh, right now we have talked 30 episodes 
about CS part and its services, but you know, it's just an introductory uh, course and it doesn't cover everything. We introduce a big picture and a brief um, talk about each element or scenario. For more details, uh, maybe in the future I uh, add some uh, supplementary course. Okay, but for any question, feel free to contact me uh, via the, my contact information. Okay, let's start the PS. PS means uh, packet service or packet switch. PS means packet switch, sorry. This means packet switch. Uh, in CS, uh, we said that, for example, if a service wanna be established, uh, a circuit should be um, should be established for that, and uh, like mobile or telephone when you wanna call. But PS is not like this. First time PS packet switch or data service, data service uh, introduced in uh, uh, in the generation two point five. Okay. Let me change the in color or in 2.5 G or GPRS, which is general packet radio service. So when we talked about G when we talk about GPRS, it doesn't mean internet. It's it refers to a specific generation of mobile networks. Okay. As you will see later, uh, that two point, uh, let me show you, I like purple and many colors, <laughs> uh, maybe as you can see later, 2.7G refers to edge or enhanced uh, data GSM evolution, okay, uh, that we will talk later about it, but we will first uh, uh, a start with GPRS, which is the first packet uh, service in the mobile networks. Okay, why GPRS? In order to provide the data service out of the scope of the fixed network, because in the uh, previous times, the uh, data service only delivered via the uh, fixed networks, but right now the story has been changed. And GPRS network classification, you can see that in both 2G and 3G uh, generations, we have GPRS, okay? And the GPRS network background in, in GSM GPRS network uses existed GSM network. UMTS GPRS network just changed their RAN site, okay? For 3G, the RAN site is just changed, as, uh, and as we talked previously, uh, for the RAN site, we, have, we are using Node B and RNC. Okay, so let's go through the next slide. This is a um, big picture for, and this is a, a high level topology from. Uh, uh, GPRS network structure you can see here is related to the previous uh, part that we talked you all of them all of you know that this is related to CS part you are familiar with these network elements like MSC VLR SMSC GMSC and so on HLR HSS EIR and uh, but uh, you, you see the protocol here is very old it, it, the protocol suite or signaling system ss7 is not mandatory it is, it is very old and it's just an example it can be sigtran or something else and here in this box we have ps uh, right now we should uh, uh, and you can you can see that according to previous slide the both uh, generation 2g and 3G uh, use this same core, PS core, uh, also as we talked about CS core. Uh, and uh, just the RAN site is changed. 
uh, right now we should uh, get familiar with some new terminologies like SGSN which stands for serving GPRS support node GGSN uh, which stands for gateway GPRS support node uh, in a very simple word I can say that you see SGSN uh, is a gateway in a site for radio part and a, a, a gateway to the to this part because GGSN uh, plays like the rotor and its its main function is routing and switching the packets it, it knows the GTV packets that I will say later I will talk about later and also it generates the CDR XDR called detail records for charging of the subscribers and it also uh, plays the role of DHCP which assign IP from IP pool to the subscriber it can be version 4 and version 6 and uh, many other uh, functions uh, in a very simple word you can see that it's acting like a rotor uh, maybe later we can say also like a GTP rotor it uh, routes and uh, the packets and in some uh, and also some other uh, key functions like DHCP and collect and gathering and sending the CDRs. Okay, uh, let's go through the next slide. Here we have some abbreviations: uh, GPRS, General Packet Radio Service (PSS), which is Base Station Subsystem (UTRAN). Uh, which uh, refers to uh, related to 3G network SGSN as I told to service uh, GPRS support node GGSN gateway GPR support node CG for charging gateway and VG for border gate border gateway and PDN means packet data network packet data network uh, it's not uh, when we are talking about packet data network uh, it is not uh, just internet it can also be another uh, data network like ims ip multimedia system or internet or uh, the most popular of them and the, the mostly used uh, uh, is internet but it can also be other data networks okay uh, and let's uh, tell some functions about these two uh, and okay we can go through these three slides and finish this course uh, let's uh, start with SGSN what is SGSN SGSN has some uh, main functions as you can see here the first function that's very that's very important also that the similar uh, part in the, the CS was MSC is mobility management okay the mobility management function are used to keep the track of the current location of an ms mobile subscriber within the public LAN mobile network or within another p element so one of the one of the most important function is mobility management another function so this is the first function another function is session management uh, session management function manage the pdp context of the ms uh, this content will be introduced in the next episode and the third uh, function is routing and transfer SGSM performs routing and forwarding service data between MS and GGSN uh, it's an intermediate node between MS and G uh, GGSN and so it handles uh, one of the parts of routing and forwarding service and uh, service data between these two nodes okay between ggsn as a subscriber and also some parts of us charging uh, sgsn can generate but uh, as i see in the practical uh, scenarios usually ggsn do this but it can also generate a store and convert and send cdrs and some other uh, security functions and network time protocol but what is ggsn 
GGSN main functions are first session management function second routing and transfer as I told to you it works like a router performs routing and forwarding service data between MS and internet or any other data network sir charging which is which is really important uh, GGSN can generate a store convert and uh, send CDRs and as I told to you it uh, works like a DHCP version 4 and version 6 and it uh, allocate IP to subscribers and also service management which you can manage the APNs and charging gateway as it's the name tells to us charging gateway the gateway for charging so it's real-time collection of gprs bills temporary storage and buffering of gprs bills and pre-processing and sending the gprs bills to the billing center okay uh, in the next slide we will go through some elementary scenarios and other functions of ps network and uh, uh, we will also go through some real scenarios through uh, real packets and wireshark hope it would be useful and informative for you and uh, hope see you again in the next episode bye